During the war period, American machines were used by the fleet air arm. The Grumman Avenger can be seen landing on vengeance. It was a three-seat torpedo bomber designed for the US Navy with a sting-type arrestor hook and retractable undercarriage. Its 1,700 horsepower right engine gave it a top speed of 278 miles per hour. A close-up of the hooked action. Another American aircraft, the Hellcat, doing an assisted takeoff from HMS Trumpeter. What was known as tail down launching became necessary with the influx of American aircraft. This towed method of catapulting had been tried earlier at Fandra and was found to be an easier way of loading as there were no trolley to negotiate. The aircraft was guided while under taxiing power sideways and the wheels and tail located against guide boards, the thrust being transmitted through wire rope bridles that were attached to suitable points near the CG of the aircraft. The tail was also attached by a strop to a holdback straining gear that withstood the forward thrust of the engine and parted when the deck accelerating forces were applied. This Hellcat is to be launched in this manner. It was generally agreed by pilots that, that this tail-down method of launching was more comfortable and that the 3.25G applied caused no real discomfort. Launching a Corsair, another American fighter, a low-wing cantilever monoplane whose outer wings folded upwards for stowage. This machine with a tricycle undercarriage is new. An American, the Aero Cobra, the tricycle undercarriage claimed to prevent bouncing and ballooning off when decolighting. These first trials are taking place at RAE Farnborough. The sea trials in Pretoria Castle. The Aero Cobra takes a measure of the deck during a flyover. This time a landing. The tricycle undercarriage did all that was claimed for it and later more fully developed. This particular machine was unusual not only in having a tricycle undercarriage, it also had the engine aft of the pilot with a long central shaft connecting up with the air screw. This did give rise to vibration trouble. The Hellcat comes in too quickly. The pilot seems none the worse.